I don't want to do it. I'll do it, but I just don't want to do it when I'm playing. I'll find out where you are. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a match right now between Rodney Morris and the Lion, Alex Pagalion, commentated by Jeff Conway and the wonderful, the spectacular Melinda Wang. You guys have fun. Justin Logan. Uh, we probably did. I think that was 20. What do you think? Should we let them start? Do you want to practice some more? Do some more homework? <laughs> How do you like being in this seat? This has got to be the best seat in the house. Nineteen ninety-six. Is it ninety-six? <laughs> See, that's bad. Even I remember that. <laughs> Alex, you like Alex legs like a girl. <laughs> Yeah, good enough. Close enough. No. <laughs> I don't even know how to pronounce my last name. We did it at the Swanee. At the Swanee, yeah. This is good. This is uh, probably the strongest 64 player field I've seen in a long time. Best seat in the house. All you have to do is talk constantly, but that's not too hard. So Alex beat Sean Putnam, right, to get here. Who did who did uh, Rodney play? Chris Mellon. Wow. Talk about strong first round pair ups. I think Alex's was nine three. I was right next to him. The body English. No, I didn't have to combo, I guess. It was clean, yep. This should be interesting. This, I don't know if it goes clean. Maybe it does. Oh, it goes clean. Too easy, yeah. No, he always looks comfortable regardless. That was also Hill Hill. So you've had Hill Hill, 
after that, Hill Hill, Carlo versus Shane. Yeah. What's the system now for choosing the Moscone Cup? Is it still based on points or? Oh, so they're just. They should have a. They should have the public pick it. Do a giant poll. <laughs> no good. I just lost the first round. Corey Hartford. Mm -hmm. Yep. It is, it's very humid.
Best safety is to keep your opponent in the chair. I think it's because they don't normally wear gloves. I mean, usually this room isn't isn't going to be quite this humid. It's just because you have so many people packed in together. Yeah, he's his personality. table. I'm going to punish you for that. That's right. both balls so Yeah, but he'll make it look easy. Just chop it. Judo chop. Yeah, chop it in.
He would be, yeah. <laughs> so no one's even heard us, that's great. No, you, they've been heard. What? Oh. <laughs> it's only one-sided, I didn't even talk very much. <laughs> so now Rodney has to hit yeah, over so over the four, and just a piece of the one shown. He should make this in the side. No, he played safe. Are you all right? Sorry to make you sick. Oh, no, it's all right. I was sitting here because... I, because the view is the best. Yeah, that's a fair exchange. <clears throat> now Alex Alex gets to the table with uh, not much of a selection here. Safety. Wow. Didn't quite come out like uh, Alex wanted. No, but it's but he did leave him on the rail, and where the three is, it'll be interesting to see how Rodney gets back on the three. It's yeah. blocked by the five in one pocket and the four. It's going to be hard to dig into this. Going to play it with follow. No, he's just going to play safe back. Or this might work out if he gets behind the six. It does. Well, he'll take that. <clears throat> but at three zip, this match is uh, this match is not over by any means. It's ten ball. Anything can happen. Score is three zero Rodney. I think Alex is breaking out the jump cue. Small jump sticks allowed, as well as the uh, obviously the longer sticks they're allowed to use. Like a doctor at work here, getting his equipment out for the operation. out like he wanted. No, he leaves a pretty open table. The only hard ball here would be to get from one to the three and that's not going to be that difficult for Rodney. And then that should be all he writes. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> oh, he's actually going to shoot it down the corner, I think. Yeah, that's Rodney for you. 
Well, when you know you've got that accuracy in your arsenal, it's uh, a lot of players. It's because Rodney doesn't care. All outside pocket, corner yeah, pocket, lot, it's all the same. A lot of people would have played that in the side pocket. You know, didn't want to mess with getting stuck on the six. And uh, this is, uh, if you was going by recent play, this is actually a little bit of a surprise score here. Rodney going up four zip if he wins this. And I don't expect him to miss these balls. And who knows, a win here may clinch a spot on the Moscone Cup for all we know. Because even though there's, they're not going by any rankings, uh, they're still looking at who's, uh, who's playing well. Rodney goes up, 4-0. Wow. Well, Alex has had his Alex has had his chances. Do you have any expe expectations on this match? Nope. Did you nope. think one might be kill the other guy? Or? No, I don't play good enough to predict things like that. I figured I was just going to sit and watch people show me how the game is supposed to be played. That's good enough for me. But Ronnie's always a favorite. I forget how he did in the Swanee. I think he came in. in I think he came in, in the top four. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did. A, we did a safe. Jason and I did a safe, safe bet with him, which we regret because it turned out the difference in the prize money was so minuscule or m minus, whatever, it was so small that when we paid him the safe bet, he actually earned more than we did, and we got through to the next round. So. Wasn't good management skills on my part. <laughs> well, Rodney broke dry, but he doesn't like Alex very much. Probably going to just try and kill this behind the two, I would think. Yeah, that's looks like what he's doing. Just avoid the double hit. <clears throat> oh. I think he's going off the outside of it. He was, he, was, he was trying to hook him behind yeah. the two, but didn't get away with it. But he's no, he leaves him a look at it. Half half the top pocket is blocked by that six. So. Somehow I just don't think that would rot Henry Rodney. <laughs> I mean, I could actually make it off to six. But I think he's a little more precise than that. Yeah, he might even make the one off, might take the one off the cushion first and make it come off the six. Or some silly. Uh, he tried it. He tried to make it off the six. And All right. All right, Alex. This is Alex. This is Alex's first real chance, I believe. Here. No, uh, second one. He had the. He rattled the two in the second rack, second or third rack. But I don't think he'll be doing that again. Plan, plan A. Yeah, he hit that a little tentative, but he, you know, that's what happens when you play in these tight pocket tables. You, you pretty much prioritize making the ball over getting perfect position, unless you're Ronnie, in which case you just don't care and you just steamroll everybody. I think the three goes in the side pocket. So past the ten? Yeah, I think so. Safe. And he's going to get lucky again there. So yeah, but Rodney has the option. Does he? Or no, maybe he doesn't. Never mind, he doesn't. It's only if you make a ball. Then you get the option to make him shoot again. Well, Rodney's just got to kick his spot that he's going to kick at it. He'd like to, like to kick it full in the face, sending the two ball off the bottom rail. And part the... That magic rack sitting on the table is driving me nuts. I want them to move it. <laughs> because if the cue ball hits it before it hits the rail, obviously that's going to change the game.
little bounce here, Safety. but not enough. It's a beautiful idea. He's trying to park it behind the six to, nine. Right. I think he left him. Yeah, he left him a piece of the two. Second jump for Alex. Short cues for short people. I think height deprived. Is really height right. deprived? Something like that. I don't think. Is vertically people, challenged. Yeah, vertically vertically challenged. I should know. Rodney would like to be going to the table with a decent shot. So we'll play another safety here. Going to do the same shot. Nice. Now, now he's back on track. I wonder if he's going to try to nick the nick the cluster up here, the six and the nine. Nope. I think the six might go in the bottom pocket. Yeah. So let's see what he does here. Go behind it. How good is this? <laughs> disgusting. That's, that was so beautiful. Pretty, it was, it was just disgusting. Really beautiful <laughs> position. Like it was blocked out by his back. I couldn't see it till afterwards. Amazing. Perfect speed there mm -hmm. on a table that's getting faster by the minute with the lights. It really is just a walk in the park for him. Couldn't have put it, couldn't have put it in exactly where he wanted it. Uh -huh. He's got to come with the right shot here because he wants to play this in one of the two side bottom pockets. Look at the speed on this. And how about that? That'll, that'll work. And we have a surprise score here. Five. Five zero. nothing. That'll make up for all the hill hill matches you've seen. Five zero. So what do we know from this? Rodney still has it. I don't think he's ever lost it. And uh, if Alex is sitting in his chair, then he can't do much. So. As Rodney, as Rodney puts that bead over, he's saying to himself, he still could come back and beat me, so i just got to keep piling on the pressure. Makes a ball. Makes the seven ball. This. Was a not, that was a nice shot. Yeah, he would have had a 210. Oh, I think he didn't run quite far enough, did he? He's calling the three ball and getting his jump cue out. He's going to play a jump combo. Has a look at the two. Now Alex gets another chance at the table. Nice safe. Nice safety. Oops, I'm not in the driving seat anymore. <laughs>
I don't think that three banks across there, Melinda. I don't think it banks in the side pocket. Well, we're going to find gonna out. Probably just going to play safe here. Oh, he was trying for the 10. But look at how this turned out. Oh, my God. It's coming out smelling of roses. Ah, oh, well, I think Rodney's going to try to chop it. Oh, no, kick it. Rodney <laughs> leaves it. Imp Impish Alec is smiling. I just himself. love the fact that they're taking this so casually. Probably a result of being in your chair for most of the match because you're not really playing too much. And he's let Rodney in again, and uh, six zip race to nine is a pretty convincing score. But I've seen scores like this before, and he looks like the guy's going to run away with it, but uh, come, comes back. Look at uh, Shane in the last match. Came back hill hill and it, he was five zip down, so you never can tell. And of course we've got such a talented field here, Melinda, that all these players are usually early in the early matches they're playing the lesser players and here we have first match, Torsten Homan and Jason Shaw. This third match, the second match, Diardo uh, and Shane Van Boning. And now this great match. I mean, it's just unbelievable that so early in the tournament, <laughs> we have to wait three days to get two good players. Maybe all the fishes are playing each other and all the sharks are playing each Maybe. other. Rodney's playing the 10 ball here to go 6-0. Six, 6-0. Zero. Six six, zero to Rodney Morris, the Hawaiian. US Open winner, Moscone Cup team member, many times. Wow, there's another good match they we just have, announced. We have young young Wayne Can against Johnny Archer. Wayne Cam came second at the ultimate ten ball against Mika. Mika was pleased with that win. Mika not had a win for a long while. Two US Open two two US Opens. Oh nine and ten was Mika, but since then it's been a little uh, a little bit of a a drought. But he was very pleased to win the ultimate 10 ball and take away a nice check in the process. Oh, I had a lot of sticks sticking out there. He'll just straighten this out and bring it back down straight for the four in this bottom pocket. Hmm, not quite what he had in mind. Might see a safe here, Melinda. Maybe put the four on the bottom cushion. Nice 
nice safety. Why, why am I always coming to the table with no shot, says Alex. He said it in Filipino, so Rodney doesn't know what he's talking about. This might work out nicely. No. Well, the, the saviour there, Melinda, is he didn't leave him a shot to cut it in the corner, but... But I'm sure there's a safety available. Yeah, I think so. Did try to cut it in. It's a nice little two-way, though. I think he's left a shot for Alex. I'm not sure if he can get a full no, shot I at that four. I think he's got half the ball, or maybe just the edge. <laughs> wow. uh, and again, he's, I think he's he's left. Uh, Left Rodney at least most of the ball. He might not be able to cut it in that corner. Turn into a little cat and mouse here. It's probably just going to make it. He might just go for this and follow. Yeah, the it way down. that he's playing, why not? Good. Yeah. Well, he left it on the. He was trying to like. It looked like he's almost trying to hook it behind that five, but there was nowhere to I hook it. No, but you know the shot that he took. Basically, if he missed, then I mean he leaves this, which is not <laughs> not a gimme. Plus, how would you get position back for the five? So the only thing left is a save. Oh, now this. Good is shot from Alex. Yeah. I think he might just have undercut that other shot, the last but one shot. Nice little kick safe. And he's got... Yeah, great safe. He can, I mean, he can get it off the bottom Yeah, rail. he can kick at it, but I'm not sure what you would get out of it. He'd like Maybe to just stick him on that rail and just try to bring the four down table. He'd like to hit it full in the face. Yep. Oh... He's not going to like this. And, uh, unfortunately, that might be putting Alex in his chair for another this rack and the next rack. I mean, Rodney's one of those players, a bit like Strickland. They they played so much, been around the been around the uh, block so many times, but they know every shot. There's, there's just they play them so quick, know exactly what they're doing. Consequently, make it look so easy. Well, Rodney's on a march here. That much closer to blanking Alex in a race I, I, tonight. I think you could give Rodney a broom broom handle and he'd still uh, still run the racket. I will see. Is in the side or I don't know if he wants to shoot in the side. I don't think he likes the side. Yep, he's not a fan of those side pockets. Well, which now we have we have a we have a convincing scoreline here now. Seven zero to Rodney Morris. With all the will in the world, I think uh, Mr. Pagalayan is going to have to put on a bit of a big fight to try and get back from this one. But uh, we'll see what happens. Never over. Never over till it's over. Yes. Yeah. 
and if he wins, if Rodney wins 9-zip, uh, this will probably be the route of the day. Oh, we scratched on the break. Where's the 10, says Alex. Oh my gosh, but... Well, I don't know. I think the 10 might... Well, it's the 10 sitting right by the side. Looks is it, like is it sitting, by. is it good enough to make with the four? Maybe could like a be, billiard? Could be a couple of inches down the rail. Though, yeah, I don't know. It's not that close, unfortunately. I mean, that's not a gimme either, so... So this is what Alex gets to look at. If he wants to, to win this rack, he doesn't get a short rack. Or maybe he does, we just don't know. Well, it's not the prettiest of racks to pick your way through. Yeah, that's got to be a little disheartening. He'll pick his way up, pick his way out of it as he goes through the rack. Do, doing a busty, or busty Swings does it? Around. It's a little too hard. Oh boy! Not so good. And he knows it. Trying to play a little safe there behind the nine, and uh, did not get it. He left him the entire ball. Had to be very precision, and the pace had to be perfect. And he just hit that a little hard, even though he hit it so soft, it was a little too hard. I think. So Rodney just called the ten. Rodney's calling the ten. <laughs> yeah, that was really. That was really close, Rodney, and uh, left Alex. Alex is hooked on the, the three, because of course he is. That's just how it rolls sometimes. He's going to probably just play a masse around the uh, six. Could miss this altogether. Oh, wow. And now, see, nice. the 410 goes now. Maybe it does. Here we go. And this, this is going to put uh, Rodney... Oh, that'll do eight nothing. My God, Rodney's on the hill and Alex has yet to win eight, the game. Eight zero. This is an absolute uh, whitewash and uh, bit of a surprise. Bit of a surprise, and we'll see what happens in this next rack. What bets do we have on a comeback with Alex beating him nine eight? Any takers? Well, I guarantee one thing. Don't count Alex out being around at the end of this tournament. <laughs> well, he certainly slams them. Push. Broke drive. Next match, table number six. I got Carlos Seattle and Mike Davis. Makes nothing on the break. Carlos Alex pushing. Interesting. Well, yes, Alan, Rodney has no option but to play safe here. I think Alec can see the whole ball. Yeah, I think so. It but can, it's a. Can certainly get it off the cushion. That's for sure. Yeah, it's distance plus this but, table. But whether he can make it or not is another thing. I'm not sure as he make it so. Nice shot. Wow, what a shot. Well, this, this would be an interesting comeback, that's for sure. I think that goes up the corner pocket, so not quite what he wanted. Giving his mind time to clear from saying to himself, what did I do there?
Well, whatever he's doing, he looks like he's going to hit it pretty hard. Back cut. There it goes. And he sort of got away with that. Um, Not yeah. sort of, he did, because, uh, I mean, it puts Rodney could play a safe here, maybe. Shot. It was a great shot. Rodney gave a little quicken to his step there as he walked away, pleased with himself. Alex says, bummer. Misses it all together. One more time. No. Air ball. Well, I think this Oh, he is, hit it? Uh, no. Oh, he's just messing with him. <laughs> This looks like it's all over here, Melinda. He's just piled the pressure on. Now be careful he doesn't run too far. That's good. Oops. Now what? Well, let's see, you're Rodney Moore, so you're just going to make it somewhere? Draw the cue ball like three rails. <laughs> I don't know. Well, the eight's blocking the seven in that corner, so I think he's going to... Side gonna... pocket. Try to go under it. Oh, look at this, though. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, Rodney's kind of laughing. He had that rack one there and just got a little out position on the six. Like a two-way shot, he went for it, but also played safe. So. I think Alex would like to come off the cushion and off the side of the six and put the cue ball back up on the top rail. I don't see him trying to kick this and make it. He just called the 10 ball. Well, if he's making the 10 ball, he's going to have to make it with he the 2 ball. He might be trying ball. to, yeah, because he might, he might just try to cut it up and use the 2 ball. Oh, dear. Well, if it hadn't have been for the swerve, he might have made that. The little bit of swerve that was on it pulled it out the line. Well, I think we can predict this is all over. It's all she wrote, or all, all he wrote. No, I'll wait till the balls fall. Seven ten. Seven ten. And will it end with a combo? No. Will it end with a safety? safety. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why I, I didn't Alex. want to predict until the last ball fell. Alex just wants him to take the handcuffs off and let it go home. Now Alex is putting on an exhibition. Round behind the seven and kick it in the side pocket. Wait, like this. Oh, he's conceding. All right. Well, well Alex threw in the towel with yeah, the end of his stick. And uh, in interesting match. Alex was never really in it. Uh, Rodney, Rodney gets the win 9-0, which is... I don't think there's going to be no many 9 0 today, especially with two players of that uh, skill level. So thank you to Melinda Wang. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is Jeff Conway signing off. Talk to you later, guys.
love that. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. <coughs> all right, folks. Hope you're all behaving and uh, keep keep an eye on that because that might not happen again today. Nine zero. A nine zero match. Yes, that's what I was uh, just catching the tail end of there at the under, other side of the room. Thanks, Jeff and Melinda, for sitting in for me and allowing me a little bit of time to take a break. So we're going to, speaking of breaks, hmm, while we're waiting for the next match to be called to table one, I just want to let you guys know that uh, we are going to be cutting sh the matches short today because uh, we only had a 64-player bracket to accommodate a three-day um, a three-day tournament, so... Chris and Sean. And Sean Patton. However, we are going to start a match right now between Chris Melling and Sean Putnam, so please stand by. You're watching POV Pool. This is the Hard Times 10 Ball. We want to thank our sponsors, Kamui Tips, GoPlaypool.com, uh, The World PPA, and uh, Crooks and Castles, the clothing company that uh, added an additional $5,000 to the prize fund here. It is the 10000 added Hard Times 10 Ball. Thanks a lot for watching, guys.